on guys i'm rogue with mass tactical today i'm going to show you guys how to properly apply camouflage face paint let's get into it so i've got a, just a basic military issue uh you know camo compact here so these things can come in you know sticks uh with one color in them or they can come in even bigger compacts with tons of colors in them uh this one comes with your standard mirror uh and four different colors uh ranging in uh dark green a lighter green a tan and a white face i know in a lot of movies they portray uh you know guys with striped patterns and all kinds of crazy patterns and stuff on their on their face paint but it, that has nothing to do with it the idea of camouflage is to break up outlines you have high points like your nose your, your eyebrows your cheekbones and stuff like that and then you have low points like your sockets uh the cheeks themselves uh and you know underneath the, the bottom lip uh, you have highs and low points so the idea is to take those highs and take those lows and you want to even them out to where your face appears like a flat image okay so you want your darkest colors you want to take your darks first and these things can sometimes be uh, kind of dried out or uh, you know just hard to work with so what you want to do is just really rub it in and get it good and moist uh, and the sticks are the same way as well you want to really rub them uh, to get them working right so you want to start with the darks and uh basically this is called the starfish pattern this is how i learned it in the military uh you basically just do what looks like a starfish on your face so you start with the dark colors get your nose make sure you go on the lips too down in the little crevices The bone that goes under the eye that protrudes and right down in this area you're getting dark now obviously having a beard allows you to use less camouflage and and uh, you know it, it helps with the overall grunge factor to uh, kind of conceal you even more um, so once you get your dark supplied you want to make sure you get other places such as your the tops of your head and stuff too even if you may you may be having you may have a cover on you still want to get these areas and one of the bigger things to pay attention to is things like your neck what other areas of your body are exposed you got your hands you got your neck you got your ears back of your neck uh you want to make sure you hit all these areas as good as you can because they stand out too just just as well as your face does so a lot of people you know you see people that just put them on their face and leave all these other areas exposed and uh, it's kind of counterproductive you don't have to canvas the whole thing and get it you know completely covered you just want to take away the shine okay so after after you've got your darkest color on got what looks to be something like starfish on your face then you want to start with your lighter colors okay uh like a, the the tan here okay get that loosened up really good and then uh then you want to hit your high points then well your low points sorry um right here and it's basically just all the areas that you can that you can see that you have left now you want to make sure you get your eye sockets another good thing about camouflage paint is that it acts as almost like a natural insect repellent so you you'll you'll find that you get a lot less bugs messing with you whenever you have this stuff on so you know whether you're using it for a mission specific reason or not it's still a good thing to put on and anytime i come out and i'm training i'm always i'm always looking at it from a combat perspective you know whatever whatever situation you're training for it's always going to be a hostile environment afterwards so you want to make sure you're constantly you know noise and light discipline you want to move quickly move with a purpose be quiet uh, you don't want to have big elaborate shelters like this or big fires or anything like that because it's just going to make you a target so in a real world situation of a collapse or what you know whatever kind of apocalyptic event you're preparing for you you want to stay low key so i always go all out when i train i'll come out i'll camo up and i'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll do everything that i would normally do uh if it was a real situation obviously i've got a big shelter and fire out here today but i am utilizing some other tactics such as face paint proper camouflage on my gear and things like that um so 
always keep that in mind. So you'll go ahead and touch the rest of the areas that are exposed with the light colored paint. Like I said guys, it's not about a pattern. You, you generally want the want one side to look a little different than the other. I just like to do the starfish pattern to uh, to give it a good base. So as you finish up, you kind of want to smear some things in different directions to make it look like there's no no real pattern to distinguish. Okay, so once you've got that generally applied, looks good there's a third color it's kind of a median in between you know the the, the darkest and the lightest um, so you can kind of throw it in to, to give a little little bit of subtle differences here and there again you want to make sure you get your sockets and stuff really well they're, they're hard to get sometimes but you got to get them And as grimy as it may feel, it's definitely necessary. So again, get your ears, get your neck. I like to use multiple fingers, sometimes three when I'm working with big areas like this. And just cover it all on. You can use a variety of colors. And this stuff will sweat off quite easily, so you might have to reapply it throughout the day, um, and, it, and it washes out fairly easy still. Uh, that's basically the, what you need to know. I'm not doing my hands and stuff while I'm out here today. Uh, I'd probably run out of paint if I did, but uh, I'll put some links in the description in the article of this so you can pick up some good compacts and uh different types of camouflage now, always remember to comment rate subscribe if you like this video please share it with your friends and until next time guys rogue out i'll see you next time Drink still fits for the most part. I just need to lose some weight primarily. But um, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. This is the Condor Micro Fleece Jacket, the Alpha Edition. It's OD Green.